now that a semester and a school year are coming to an end, we really need to go ahead and look at uh, what you need to do for your Google Classrooms in order to close out this semester, this school year, and prepare for the upcoming school year in the fall. So the first thing we've got to do to get started with in this is go to Google Classroom to the screen where you see all of your classes. And this is the classes screen. You can get to this if you're inside of a class. You can click on the three lines on the left and choose classes and it will bring you back into your main classes screen. You see I've got several classes in here. And from inside this classroom screen, you're going to see your class that you're probably teaching right now. So in order to take care of this class, uh, what we want to do is one of two things. So you're going to have two paths that you can follow. You can either completely archive this class, create a brand new class for the following year, and then pull from that archived class when you do reuse posts. So you remember when you reuse a post, you go into the classroom, you go to classwork, you click on create, and you can click reuse post and you can select any of your classes that you have in your Google Classroom and post from that class. And when you do that, you can tell it to create a new copy of all attachments, which I do recommend that you have a check mark down there when you reuse a post. So to, if you're in the classes screen, you just create a new class and then inside that new class, Click on Create, Reuse Post, select your archived class that you have or your other class that you're pulling from and post from that class. So to archive that class that we have so that it's not showing up in the front of our Google Classroom screen, all you have to do is click on the three dots on any of these tiles and click on Archive. And by doing so, you're going to move it to an archived section. The archive section of Google Classroom is under the three lines. It's the very bottom of this scroll bar on the left. You click on archived classes and you'll see all of your archived classes. But these go back uh, several years for me. So I've used these several years ago and I've archived them and now I can pull from these classes. When you archive a class, some of the things that it does, it will remove the class from the student's view. So first of all, it will completely remove it from their view. They can't get into that class and see that class anymore. Now, if you unarchive it, it does pull those same students back into the classroom. The other thing that it does when you archive it is it completely removes it from your view. So you're no, no longer seeing it here on the main classes screen. It is in your archive section, but it does still allow you to post and reuse posts from that archive class into a new class. So that's the first thing that you can do if you'd like. You can click on the three dots, click on archive, and it will archive that class. Move it to the background so that you don't have to worry about it anymore. The other thing that you can do if you want to just go ahead and you've got a bunch of stuff you're really not so concerned about reusing posts, but you just want to completely reuse that course shell, you can click the three dots and click on copy. And when you click on copy, it's going to make a copy of that class with all of your materials and all of your assignments. So you just fill in the information in regard to the class name, the section, subject, and room, and then click copy. And it will work to copy all of that class. So now that our class has copied, Let's look at the three primary things that do not get copied when you are making a copy of a class in Google Classroom. The first thing that does not get copied are grades. You don't have to worry about somebody else's grades showing up in your new Google Classroom. It doesn't copy grades over at all. So it's a completely blank grade book at that point. This being said, people don't get copied over either. And that's one of the reasons why grades don't get copied over is because there's no students in this class. There are also no co-teachers. So if you have a co-teacher in a class and you make a copy of that class, you will not have those co-teachers in that class anymore. In the new class, that is. You do have to 
reinvite any co-teachers and any students into your new copy of your class each year. Finally, the stream does not get copied over. So if you post announcements or anything in your stream uh, in Google Classroom, those don't get copied over. I'll show you an example here. Uh, this is what I copied from. You notice I do have a stream post here. It's just an announcement, but my copy of the class does not have the announcement. And it's just because the stream is viewed kind of as a year by year thing and not as a reusable type of environment. So they don't copy the stream over. Your classwork though is copied over. So everything that you had in classwork, a copy of it is made. Now every single post is put into draft status. So whenever you're ready to post these, you do need to click on the assignment, click edit from the three dots, and you can either schedule, save as draft, or assign. And you can do what you're used to doing as far as um, adding rubrics, adding topics, adding due dates, uh, adding point values. Everything that you're used to when you create a brand new assignment, you're going you're to get the exact same thing when you create a copy of a course and you go in and edit the draft of that assignment. But all of your assignments are set as draft when you make a copy of your class. So those are the two primary ways that you can close out your school year, prepare for next year. You can either just archive the class and then reuse posts as needed, or you can make a complete copy of the class and then reuse the posts by just editing and posting as needed. So it is totally up to you how you'd like to do that. If you have problems, you need help, please feel free to reach out. Hope you have a great summer and I'll see you next year.